Woman's work is never done. We've all heard that quoted so often, we've almost come to believe it's true. But is it? Let's find out. Who says that woman's work is never done? And when spring cleaning comes round, I'm just an outcast. Spring. In the spring, a young man's fancy lightly turns the thoughts of, well, you know what I mean. But in the spring, a woman's thoughts turn to carpets and cleaning. Who says that woman's work is never done? I say so, says the man of the house. While there is furniture to clean, and carpets to clean, and chimneys to sweep, and picture rails to dust. But those are voices out of the past. Take no notice of them. Laugh at them, because they just aren't true anymore. That's how it used to be in the bad old days. But now, cast your eyes away from that picture of gloom and depression, of backache and misery, to a brighter picture of sunshine and happiness. Look up to where there rises yonder an electric pylon, carrying the current of service into every woman's life. To 2000 BC, the broom was the first step in the creation of the vacuum cleaner. However, the broom wasn't as useful as it is today, as they were too soft and failed to pick anything up. In 1860, Daniel Hassan invented the first manual vacuum cleaner called a carpet sweeper. It generated dust with a rotating brush and had bellows which generated suction. In 1869, Ives W. McGaffin created War Wind, which had a belt-driven fan powered by hand. In 1898, John A. Thurmanen invented a gasoline-powered cleaner that was so big that it had to be horse-drawn and didn't create a vacuum, but it blew the air and cleaned like that. Until 1901, the first vacuum cleaner that used the same principle as those that we use today was invented by Hubert Cecil Booth of England. His vacuum cleaner had an internal combustion engine that powered by a piston pump which pulled air through a clouds filter. The whole machine was pulled by a horse, and people called it puffing belly. It was big and it could not enter buildings and only its tubes were inserted through the windows. In 1905, Walter Griffiths designed the first cleaning machine that used a vacuum and that could be carried around. It used bellows to suck up dust and a flexible pipe. In 1906, James B. Kirby invented a vacuum machine called the Domestic Cyclone which used water for dirt separation instead of a filter. In 1907, James Murray Spangler invented the first portable vacuum cleaner that had a motor. This machine had a rotating brush, electronic fan, a box, and a bag for dust, for which James used one of his wife's pillowcases. He had no money to begin the production of his idea, and he sold the patent to William Henry Hoover in 1908. Later, William Hoover redesigned the vacuum cleaner by placing it in a steel box and designing attachments for the holes. He later added disposal filter bags and designed the first upright vacuum cleaner in 1926. The vacuum cleaner was a luxury at first, but after the Second World War, middle classes could afford it, and it slowly became a part of many households. In 1979, James Dyson introduced a portable unit with cyclonic separation. He launched his cyclone cleaner first in Japan in the 1980s at a cost of about 1,800 US dollars and in the 1993 released the Dyson DC01 upright in the UK for 200 pounds. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, several companies developed robotic vacuum cleaners. In December 2009, Needle Robotics launched the world's first robotic vacuum cleaner, which uses a rotating laser-based range finder to scan and map its surroundings. See something I don't like? Goodbye. But now that we have the Needle D3, whenever I need something gone, it helps me take care of it. Needle knows, in this house, it's all about what I want. Is that irrational? I don't care. As for Nito, I've decided it can stay. Today, we have many different types of vacuum cleaners.
We expect that a robot vacuum could grow arms in the near future, help folding laundry, doing the dishes, delivering a meal, and grabbing a drink from the refrigerator. Doing the cleaning is just a piece of cake.